Welcome, Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This uh, uh, month of love is going to be broken down in your individual zodiac sign. So look at the bottom in order to find your um, individual um, part of the reading. Okay. So always go back and uh, cross watch, cross watch to see what is coming up for your partners, your friends. Uh, so you will know exactly what is happening and what is transpiring. Okay, Aquarians. All right, so Aquarians, um, I think, um, and I've been receiving a lot of messages, people like to see for their home sign, so it is still get is going to be done in a collective, but yet still you will have your message for your own sign. All right, so um, before we go into um, huge reading, there's a message for someone out there. Um, this could be the one, so a lot of you are thinking, if a fire sign person, um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, um, you could be asking yourself, is this the one? Is uh, this the person for you? This is a whole man, whoever this man is. Um, this man is 45 years and older. And a lot of you have met this man and is wondering if this could be the one. Um, you are um, Some of you already met this person. And you're trying to figure out if this is the one. So um, if you notice the energy of uh, um, the hangman is in reverse. So yes, it um, it is the one. So a lot of you Aquarians who have met a fire sign person and was wondering if uh, this was the person for you. It is a yes, this is the person for you. So um, that's good news coming in um, this reading. So let's go into reading and let's see what is coming out. Remember that your extended reading is um, out. So first, it's always required for you to look at the general reading and then go and check out your extended reading. So what we see is the first week, some sort of uh, information is going to be coming in. A lot of you who were thinking if a Aries Leo or Sagittarius person is the one, I see truth is going to be coming out about this person. So if you... We're seeing an Aries Leo or Sagittarius first, so some sort of a truth is going to be coming out about this person. And um, a lot of you could be falling in love with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. Um, this is also showing up. A lot of you, some sort of information is coming out about a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman. And you are going to be seeing the truth about this woman and who this woman is, okay? So that is something that is going to be transpiring and happening the first week. Is as if uh, some of you wanted to find out who this person is. And if there is any hopes for the you and this person, um, some of you were, in, uh, were trying to figure out who this person is. And you will um, see who this person is, okay? This is a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person that some of you had your eyes on maybe or was trying to figure out who is this person, um, who is their partner, that sort of a thing. And I see um, you will find this out in the first week. Then we see um, the energy in the second week of a lot of you are falling in love with a Aries Leo or Sagittarius person, 45 years and older. A lot of you are questioning, is this the one? Yes, this is the one. So go ahead. Um, there is uh, no problems here. Um, a lot of you have been trying to figure out if this is the person for you. It is. So then we are looking at um, uh, some sort of a friendship. A lot of you could be friends with um, a fire sign person and is not aware that this is the love of your life or this is the person that was meant for you. Some of you are going to be finding this out. Some of you are going to be realizing that you are in love with this person. And I see you're going to be realizing that this is the person that was meant for you. Some of you could have left a relationship with a fire sign person and is going to be realizing in the second week that the fire sign person was the person for you. Then we are looking at the third week and we see the energy of the devil in the reverse. And some of you, there was some sort of a problem, an issue with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person. It's not showing up whether it's a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. But I see um, there was some sort of a problem 
um, some sort of an issue. And um, now a cycle is over for you and this person. I don't think this person wants to reconnect. I think this person have basically end a cycle between you and them and there is no new start. So I would say let it go. Whatever is happening and transpiring, let it go. A lot of you were in love with this, um, uh, in love with a Capricorn person. This woman is really a woman, but this woman has moved for, um, forward and there is uh, no love. Uh, um, this, this person is no more in love with you. This person has moved forward with, with their lives. So in the third week, a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a information or someone is going to be connecting with you, trying to figure out if you have any connection with this person. And um, I see that you are um, going to be, it's as if uh, um, someone is connecting with you, asking you some sort of information about this person. Um, but I see that you're not going to be giving out any information about this person. It's as if, uh, why are you asking me this? And who are you? And why would you want to know that? Uh, um, I haven't seen this person in years. So a lot of you be aware because someone is trying um, to create some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem. And I see that someone is going to be contacting you and it could be a scorpion and this person is going to say, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know you and I'm not giving out any information about this person. I, I haven't seen them in a, quite some time. In the fourth week, a lot of you are going to be finding out that some of you were dealing with a scorpion and uh, you found out that the scorpion has cheated on you and you're ending the relationship. You no longer want to be in this relationship. I see this relationship was on and off, on and off, but you realize that the scorpion wasn't being honest uh, and you're going to be ending the relationship and letting this relationship go because you find out that... Uh, um, it is not bringing you any substantial, um, no substantial anymore. And I see you're going to be letting go of this relationship and it's going to be ending this relationship. So um, be aware of this and be aware of what is happening and transpiring because a lot of you are going to be deciding to let go of some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem that has been transpiring between you and a scorpion. You are letting this go and you're moving forward and just uh, um, leaving whatever the issue and problem is and was and letting it go. So be aware of this. So, um, you know, align yourself with the energy because basically a lot of, a lot is going to be transpiring and a lot is going to be happening. So be aligned with whatever is, uh, is affecting you in your life uh, so that you are aware of uh, the transition that is going to be coming up and how this is going to be affecting you. A lot of you are going to be finding out that your partner has been cheating on you. So be aware of this. And a lot of you are going to be finding out if there is some sort of a situation where some of you have uh, um, contracted some sort of a sexual disease or that sort of a thing. It came from a fire sign person. Okay. This person could have had it and was not aware of it. And, um, you're going to be realizing that, uh, um, this person brought it to you from their ex partner. So their ex partner is also, um, um, affected by, um, this, uh, um, whatever the, this uh, um, diseases or whatever it is that you have caught. So be aware of this and be aligned with this energy because you're going to be finding out that your ex-partner, whoever this person is, whatever that was transpiring, is also being affected um, by the energies of what is happening and transpiring. So um, this person, whoever this fire sign person is, uh, has something to do with uh, the problem that you're having um, with your um, your organs. Okay, so um, it could be something that you have attracted from this person. 
then we're looking some of you're in and out of a relationship a on and on relationship however this is happening however this is transpiring i see a lot of you in and out of relationship on and on a relationship that is going that is transpiring a whole lot of you wants um to return to a um taurus virgo or a capricorn person um i saw that uh, um you're thinking about returning to this person for whatever reason it is, I think you are still in love with this person. You realize that some of you um, went in a relationship with a scorpion and you realize that the scorpion, um, it was as if some of you were with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn and this person has moved on with their life and you went with a scorpion and the scorpion, whatever is happening and transpiring, um, you're realizing that the scorpion is not very honest and the scorpion is only looking for someone who is uh, financial stable. You're also going to be realizing that the scorpion is uh, um, someone that sleeps around and uh, um, they like older men. So a lot of you are going to be finding this out, okay? Um, then we see a lot of you wants um, to choose between a fire sign woman um, and a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. But these two people were friends. And because of you, you have created some sort of a problems and issue between these two people. They no longer want to um, be accessible to you. Um, so um, that is what is really playing out uh, um, for some of you Aquarians in this timeline. So, um, a lot of you men are, um, you know, are still not sure, um, who to choose. You're still not sure who to choose. You're, you're like uh, in limbo between two women. And I see some of you men are seeing two women or have two women on your mind. And you're not sure whether or which one and in which direction you should go with them. And I see that this is going to be affecting a lot of you to make up, um, make a decision about who um, to be with. Then I see um, the energy of the magician, some sort of, uh, uh, some of you have had a light bulb moment and realized something about the Storisburg or Capricorn person, whatever it is, uh, um, is it good or bad? You are realizing that uh, you had the best person in your life and you had let go of this person. And I see now it's as if it is hitting you as a block. And now you're realizing that you have uh, um, released um, someone who was very good for you and who was there for you. And this person could have helped you um, to build you up in a very positive positive way so a lot of you there is no question that is happening and it's transpiring a lot of you are now realizing um that um an ex that you were seeing this person um was um was really um good for you and i see that some of you went and sleep either with their friends or their friends slept with your partner and you're going to be finding this out because uh, um, either you have done it or they have done it and you're definitely going to be finding this out and it's going to be realizing what was happening and what was transpiring so be aware of this okay be be very aware because a lot of you are going to be realizing that the cycle is finally over between you and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person um, this person no longer connects with you or you no longer know where this person is. And I see um, a lot of people are going to be, it's like people are saying, hey, what happened to so, so, so? And like people are trying to connect with this person, but it's as if this person has disappeared off uh, um, the face of the hurt. But I see that um, someone from the past, uh, but whoever is coming up to connect with you to ask you about the Taurus Virgo Capricorn person, if you had a relationship with them on or, or affair, I see that they're just trying to stir up trouble. Okay, I gotta go. Please like and share. Remember, in order um to see the extended of these reading and uh, to see for your partner, you have to 
um, use the link below or whether it's an earth sign person there is under the um, video is there where you can find each individual signs um, let me know if you like this layout I think this is better because then a lot of people can know what is coming up for themselves okay I gotta go namaste until next time welcome Gemini's this is your love a general reading for you Gemini's please remember um to go pick up your extended reading on the website all righty Gemini's <laughs> So um, as of this moment, um, from now, each and every person for the full moon and the love reading, because I realize that you guys just really want your own readings. Um, so all right, it's the same energies, but in different way for you, Gemini's, that is going to be cut up, that is uh, here. So um, in order to see um, your, um, uh, oh, your partner's energies, you have to, if they're an earth sign, you have to um, go to the earth sign video and then look under where um, in the timeline your partner, whether they're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, if it's a water sign, whether they're Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, you have to look at the bottom of the video in order to find um, the timeline to get to their reading. Okay. So as of now, all air signs is going to be having their reading separates. Everyone is going to have their reading separates, but all under the same element. Okay. And you guys are here. So, okay. Gemini, it's a wonderful, wonderful, uh, um, reading. Um, this month is about the energy of weddings. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a lot of you Gemini's is going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy, um, um, about your partnership with your partner and their family, some sort of a secret about your partner and their family, or it could about your family. So a lot of you Gemini is going to be finding out why someone wants to marry to you or some sort of a secret in your part or family. Is going to be coming out that people were not aware of. So, Gemini's be aware of this. So, Gemini's, um, life is full of surprises and whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, sometimes you get married and you, sometimes you're not aware of why your partner wants to marry to you or um not knowing things about your partner's family and i see a lot of you gemini if you look you men are upright you can see the man how he is upright but uh, your bride is not upright and if you ladies are getting married and not for the right reason a lot of secrets about you women family so men i'm warning you you are about to get married. Do not do it because this lady is not being very honest. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, this situation involves a marriage. This person is not being honest. So Gemini's, if you are married to a Pisces, be aware of this. If uh, um, there is something about uh, um, a Pisces uh, and a marriage, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you get to be aware. If you're married to a Pisces woman, Gemini's be aware because there's some sort of a secrecy in this woman family. So Gemini, let's look at your reading. Now, the foundation of your reading is that a lot of you Gemini's is going to be finding out about some, um, um, your, that your wife had cheated on you. Or it could be some of you women finding out that your husband had cheated on you. Um, but I see that uh, um, a lot of you Gemini's, whether man or woman, is going to be finding out uh, that your partner had cheated on you. And you're going to be figuring this out uh, um, that your partner isn't honest. So if you're in a relationship uh, um, uh, and you feel as if your partner is cheating, uh, yes, they are. Some of you women could be saddened because you find out that your partner have cheated on you. So let's get in the reading. In the first week, a lot of you are finding out the truth about a fire sign woman. Whoever this fire sign woman is, this fire sign woman is a Aries Leo or Sagittarian. And this woman is, uh, um, could be um any different ages but you're going to be finding out the truth about this woman in the first week 
whatever is happening and transpiring, there is some sort of a dishonesty about this woman. And I see a lot of people is going to be finding out who this woman is and what has happened and transpired. Then I see the energy of this woman and her friends um, have not been very honest. Okay, so it's as if this woman have been sleeping around with some of you um, um, friends. Okay. Or the, this woman friends is going to be telling you that she has been cheated. So be aware of this man. Um, this is going, all going to be coming out because it has something, um, to do where you're going to be finding out uh, that this woman has been cheating on you. So, um, be aware of this. So whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of a transition is going to be happening where you Gemini's are definitely going to be finding out exactly what is happening between you and this lady and what has transpired between you and this lady, that this lady friends um, know that this lady have cheated on some of you, Gemini. So this person is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and not a very honest person. Then we're moving forward and we're looking at the second week with you, Geminis. Um, you, Geminis, are going to be seeing the truth of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. It is that you realize that this person has been truly a friend. I see you're going to be saddened, saddened about something um, that a, a Scorpion have done to this lady. You're going to be realizing that a Scorpion has not been... Um, uh, very honest about this lady and I see truth is going to be coming out about a scorpion and that the scorpion has spoken badly against this person so um some of you men is going to be finding out um that you know people have treated um your partner that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in a very bad way and I see you're going to be finding out that your friends have not been um honest so, and i've treated this woman and i see a lot of you gemini are saddened at how your friends at uh see uh, uh, um treat this lady in um a not a nice way so you're going to be finding out uh, that as uh, some sort of a situation that is happening some sort of a sadness with this person is uh, um caused by your own friends so it could be your partner it could be a friend uh, um it could be your yeah, it could be a wife, it could be a friend, it could be someone you have been seeing. You're going to be realizing that is your own friends has caused this person a whole lot of sadness in their lives. So be aware of this. So then when we look at the third week, some sort of information. Um, you Geminis are going to be finding out some sort of information from your friends that your wife have been cheating on you or your partner have been cheating on you. So it's not showing up who it could be a, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion because uh, um, it, it's your wife. And it's as if you Geminis are serious uh, about this marriage and this woman have been sleeping around and cheating on you. And I see your friends are really going to be telling you what was happening and what was transpiring. And your friends are going to be caught in this person cheating on you. So I see a lot of you Geminis uh, um, could caught this person. Because if you notice, you saw this person. And if you notice, the energy of the magician is in reverse. And it's as if... Uh, um, this is as if a friend of yours that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to be telling some of you Gemini that your wife or not to marry, either not to marry or to end your marriage because your wife has been very deceptive to you. So this is going to be coming in and a lot of people is going to be finding out that, uh, um, um, you know, this, whoever you're married to is only in it for money and they have no love for you because there is someone else in their life and you could be finding this out. But, um, how you're finding it out, some of you, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could find out and see that this person has been cheating on you or you are going to be finding it out yourself or you're going to be communicating to um this friend and saying you know this woman is you know your your marriage or your uh is over because you found out that this woman was cheating on you so 
a lot is going to be coming up and transpiring and i see a cycle is over a cycle is over for a pisces um um, whoever the Pisces is, is as if some of you realize that the Pisces had cheated on you and a whole lot of truth is going to be coming out, Gemini. So be aware of this, Gemini, because whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, a whole lot of you is going to be ending some sort of affair. If you were having an affair with a Pisces, um, the Pisces could have been married or, um, you're going to be finding out that, uh, um, your Pisces wife or husband, um, mostly the wives could be cheating and a lot of you are going to be ending your marriage because of this. So Gemini, it is a lot that is going on. Um, uh, it is a, a sad state. Um, this is that, um, some of you are going to be finding out that a fire sign person, um, have been lying and uh, have not spoken the truth and some of you are going to be finding out that your wife uh, have been cheating on you and there has been secrets around a fire sign person and your wife uh, and the lies and deceptiveness of your in-laws and you're going to be trying to get out of this i see you're going to be communicating this to a friend that is a taurus Virgo, a capricorn and said hey you were right about my wife uh, you were right about these people so However, and whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of people, um, a lot of you Geminis are going to be finding out some real um, deceptiveness with a fire sign person because whatever is transpiring, a lot of you Gemini um, could be finding out, especially a Gemini woman could be finding out that your husband has been cheating on you with a fire sign person. And you can see that because you're going to be finding out the truth. So, um, Gemini's, let me know how it goes. I see a lot of you are going to be speaking, um, to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and said, you know, you were right. Um, you know, you have been my best friend. You were right that I should not have gotten married because I found my wife cheating on me. And I realized that my wife had cheated on me. And you're going to be asking this person and you know like what should i do and this person is going to advise you to let go of this person it's not showing up who they are and they're going to be saying let go of this person because um and um, this is not uh, um what you're looking for and you are going to be listening to the advice of a, a friend okay i gotta go namaste until next time liberals i want to say thank you for being here Thank you for being back, Liberance. Let's go in and see what is coming up for your readings. Remember, um, as of now, each and every one of you are going to be getting your um, your own readings. So use the link in order to um, get to um, um, your link, okay? Um, it always go in alphabetical order. So, so um, remember how to find your reading. So at the, at the bottom of every reading liberals uh, um if you're going to look at the hurt sign people the water sign people and uh the hair sign people um you have to look at the bottom of the the reading and you will see where um it begins the time stamp on the video so liberals i see unrequired love a lot of you could have been carrying some sort of a burden in a relationship and you're going to be realizing that this burden that you're carrying is unrequired. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you liberals are going to be realizing that it is better to let go of a burdensome situation that you're dealing with. Um, because you realize that uh, the chemistry is no longer there with a fire sign person. And it could be with a Sagittarius. So a lot of you... Um, could be having some sort of uh, issues if you're in a relationship with a Sagittarian woman. Um, you realize that uh, um, there is not enough uh, chemistry with this person or the chemistry isn't there anymore. And I see you're going to be releasing yourself of uh, this uh, burden. Okay. So um, a lot of you could be receiving some sort of information or reconnecting with a Sagittarian woman and you Libran are going to be realizing that um, the feelings, the chemistry that you had is not there and it's honor required love. So you're going to be walking away. Libran, um, your partner is a, a Aries. 
yeah librans your partner is an aries so um librans are better much with a aries person okay all right so what is in the basis of your reading the basis of your reading is that i see um some of you are in love with your friend some of you libran um have a friend that is a taurus virgo or capricorn this person is a uh, I'm going to be there for you all the time. But I see some of you could be in love with this person. But this person have no desire. I have no intimate desire with you. Okay. This person is very, very nice. They're a friend. They will have your back. And whatever happens to you, liberals and your relationship, they will always be there to listen and have a listening here for you. So in the stability is that a lot of you Librans who have a friend that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is going to be always there for you. They're going to be having, uh, um, you know, standing and standing strong and helping you through whatever issue that you're going through. But I don't see that they're romantic involved with you. They have no romantic feelings for you. Um, this person is not interested in having any relationship, okay? They're good friends, and I, I think that that's how they want it. They see you as a friend. So a lot of you who have some sort of a romantic feelings for a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, um, this person has no, no romantic feelings for you. This person is and see you as a friend or as a brother. So, okay. All right, so let's look at the first week. The first week is that some sort of an information is going to be coming out for you Librans. A lot of you Libran ladies is going to be finding out that your partner has been cheating on you. I see a lot of sadness for you Libran ladies. Um, some sort of an information is going to be coming in for you Libran ladies where you find out that your partner have not been very honest and have been cheating on you. Some of you Libran ladies is going to be finding out that your um, partner have been seeing um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this person um, could have find out if, if, if your partner um, is with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, I see they could be either, you know, once a threesome with you and this person um or you guys have conversate over having a threesome with this person but i don't know I, you know if you want to keep the relationship don't um don't suggest this to this person because they're going to cut you off no matter how good your friends with the Taurus, Virgo, or capricorn person um the thought of it is going to be making you lose your friendship with this person. So be aware of what is happening and transpiring, ladies and gentlemen. A good friend is better than uh, a one night affair and a loss that you lost a friend for a lifetime. Um, not all Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn people, especially women, um, or uh, in the fun of threesomes and that sort of a thing. No, um, I don't know. There is something about earth sign people that don't like to share their partner or don't want to know who their partner, who they're sharing their partner with. And I see some sort of an information um, is going to be coming out. So it's as if some of you... Um, some of you are conversating with your partner and, and you know, wondering if uh, you should ask a friend to have a threesome. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not this. You're going to be losing a friendship. This person is uh, a happy, funny person. But when it comes to on to their sexuality, they don't uh, share their sexuality or they don't speak about their sexuality um, with friends okay so um liberals be aware of uh, how you um you know if even you have the thought because i see that you and your partner is discussing it um to ask because here it is you know your your partner is discussing it um to ask your friend who is a taurus Virgo, or capricorn to do a threesome don't do it because you're going to be losing a very good friendship okay 
second week I see some sadness for you ladies um, some sort of a information came out so it could be that you didn't listen to this reading and didn't listen to yourself you ask this person and I see this person is going to reject um, and this is going to be making you feel sorry um, but it's as if it's too late because you're going to be losing a friendship so Libran ladies, it, it's a thought and a fantasy. Hold it as a thought or a fantasy. Um, not with a um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. This person is not one of these people who will do these things. So hold it as a fantasy. A best friend is better than um, a minute of passion or a night of passion that uh, um, makes you lose your friendship with this person. So be aware. Because um, there is um, this is communication between you and your partner. And um, I see that some of you are not going to listen and ask this person and you're going to be sad in the second week because they're, um, this person is going to be upset. It's not it's not someone who you can um, ask these things. They're not interested in that sort of a thing. So it's going to be a no. So um, whatever you're about to ask this person um, that has to do with a threesome, and no, it's a no. Some of you ladies are going to be finding out that your partner has been cheating on you. And I see some of you are going to decide to, uh, and your partner have been cheating on you with a friend. Okay, so be aware of this. Um, you could be um, cheating um, on your partner with their friend or with their partner. So be aware. But this is more of uh, um, some of you ladies are going to be finding out that a friend has been um, sleeping around with your partner or your husband. Okay? So be aware. Um, our, um, our, an affair is going to be over. You can see this, ladies and gentlemen. In the third week, an affair is going to be over. Okay? Some sort of information comes out. Um, if you're with a married person or you're having an affair, some sort of information is going to be coming out and an affair is going to be over. So whoever is in an affair, um, this is going to be coming out. Um, your husband or wife is going to be finding out about this. Um, this affair is going to be over. People are going to be finding out. So if some of you Librans uh, um, had an affair or you wanted to have an affair or that sort of a thing with this person or you had an affair with this person, I see that it, you know, it will come out in the third week, but I see you're going to be, um, um, this person is just going to blow it off as if, yeah, it was not that good. So I don't even see it as an affair because, um, ugh. <laughs> okay. So be aware of this. So if some of you want to use something like, um, maybe you had a one night chance with this person. And you want to use it, don't use it because this verse is going to be like, <sighs> trust me, <laughs> if you notice, there is no interest there anymore. So don't try to use it because especially with earth sign people, because they're going to tell you exactly. And um, so don't try to pull this one out of the cat liberants, because I see some of you liberants are going to want to um, use it and uh, um, and um this person is going to be like, okay, whatever you're trying to do, but um, it was not that, okay? Because earth sign people, I don't know. There is something with earth sign people in relationships, especially when they sleep with you. If a earth sign person sleep with you and it's not good, they will not discuss it and they don't want to talk about it anymore. They just regret that they um, extend themselves and it wasn't good, so whatever is happening there um the last week a lot of you um some sort of information a fire sign is going to be telling you some sort of information this fire sign is a sagittarian woman so it's as if you were seeing a sagittarian woman and this person become a friend and whatever is happening this person is going to be telling you something um, it's as if they're going to be saying, yeah, I knew you had an affair with so, so, so. Um, and, um, it's as if you're going to be, um, like, how did you know that? You know, like whatever. And it's as if the spy side person is wanting to create 
some sort of a burn. Yes, I knew you had an affair with this person and the rest of it, but this person, um, you know, it was unrequired love because this person was in love with you and I was in love with you and you didn't want me and you wanted that person. And see, it didn't work out because it wasn't meant to be. So I see that a Sagittarian person is going to be coming up to some of you with that because it's as if a Sagittarius person went and tried to figure out why you did not want to have some sort of a relationship with them. And this, vice, this Sagittarian person is going to be finding out um, that, you know, your heart was somewhere else. And they're going to be uh, finally finding out that you were in love with your friend or a good friend. That is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And that was the reason why your heart wasn't there for them. And I see that you're going to be thinking, yeah, well, you know, because of your behavior, that is the reason why. Um, and I see this fire sign person is going to be saying, yeah, this person, um, is unrequired love for you. This person is not someone who takes you serious to have a relationship with. This person has certain, um, qualities. They're looking for certain qualities uh, in people. And, you know, they're going to be saying, oh, but I, I have what you're looking for, but yet still, um, you know, you had an eye on them. So I see that a Sagittarius person for some of you are going to be coming up and it's going to be hitting you with this and you're going to be like, uh, you know, why now? You know, how did you know all of that that was happening and transpiring? And it is as if you're going to be thinking, yeah, or whatever, you know, let it go. <laughs> I'm over it, um, you know. But why are you bringing this up? And I think the Sagittarian person really do cares about you, but the Sagittarian person carries a lot of burden. They carry a lot of burden. Whatever is happening in Transpire, they carry a lot of burdens. And I see that you're not interested in what their problems. You're just not interested in their problems. And you really don't want to carry their burdens um, whatever the burdens that they're carrying. It's as if you just want to um, live your life free without having other people issues and burdens. And I see that is what is happening and transpired. So, um, deliverance is going to be um, really, really a month where um, love is going to be a little bit toxicity or a little bit. You have to be careful what you say and how you do things. Um and a lot of you women are going to be finding out that your partner has been sleeping around. And I see um, you have a friend, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn friend that is going to be really um, supporting you through whatever you're going through. Because this person is, have, um, is a good listener. Okay. So please let me know um, what way you prefer it to, um, that you guys have uh, still your own um, reading. Um, please like and share these videos. And I am saying namaste until next time. Mm-hmm.